Today's featured video is about the must-have new Skyrim mods for the second week of April 2024. First, I'd like to introduce a few expansion mods, starting with J. Serpa's Infiltration Quest expansion. You ask this mod questions. expands the vanilla infiltration quest by adding dialogue and voice lines, we'll providing players with more choices. Count. It seems to introduce a character named Brurid, and the quest progresses with stories related to Brurid and Stalio. You I'd like to provide more details, but to avoid spoilers, to I'll Stalio, keep this explanation brief. However, given that it's a mod by the creator Just J. Serpa, I believe it will be composed of satisfying content. It seems like a good choice for those who want to experience the vanilla infiltration quest in a different way. Next up is the follower dialogue expansion, Mjol the Lioness mod. This mod enriches and enhances Mjol the Lioness as a more interactive character. It adds 162 voice recorded dialogue lines and includes recognition for both the main quest and DLC main quests. By expanding Mjol the Lioness's dialogue, this mod introduces new story-based interactions and enables location awareness, such as recognizing cities and dungeons. Experience a wider range of dialogue for Mjol in a completely sensible manner through this mod. In this segment, we'll talk about animation mods. And there's quite an intriguing one to mention. It's called Dynamic Crafting Animations. This mod builds upon the pen animation replacer and immersive equipment displays, adding new animations when using grindstones, workbenches, or arcane enchanters, allowing you to see your character directly interacting with the weapons and armor they're working on. For example, when enhancing bows or crossbows at grindstones, your character actually holds the bow or crossbow, and similarly with other weapons. Not only vanilla weapons, but also animated armor weapons are perfectly rendered. And when using workbenches, the armor you're enhancing is astonishingly displayed on the bench. Moreover, when using arcane enchanters, even the soul gem you're using is placed on the enchanter, allowing you to place all items on the shelf in real time. It's truly an astounding mod that could easily be considered one of the must-have mods of the year. So don't miss out on it. Next up is the modern first-person animation overhaul. This mod improves the animations for wielding weapons in Skyrim's first-person perspective to meet modern standards. It replaces first-person animations for various weapon types, prioritizing quality over quantity. Each animation is meticulously crafted, adjusted, and optimized. Designed to align with modern gaming standards, this mod addresses transition issues between right-hand and left-hand attacks in the original first-person animations. When transitioning from a left-hand attack during combat, the right-hand attack animation seamlessly continues without briefly resetting to a waiting animation. Using this mod enhances Skyrim's first-person combat to meet modern standards, making it a recommended choice for those seeking better first-person animations. This time, I'd like to introduce two interface-related mods. First up is Resist Widget. This mod is a useful addition to Skyrim, displaying various information on the screen. It adds a widget that shows current resistances and speed. The interface it provides is quite casual, specifically displaying widgets for disease, poison, fire, frost, and shock resistance, as well as current armor rating and movement speed. For SSE users, you can modify the interface via the GUI menu. And it's worth noting that you can toggle the GUI menu on and off using the end key. Next up is No Compass in Dialogue. This mod automatically hides the compass and quest markers in the dialogue window, allowing you to focus clearly on the conversation partner. It also includes an MCM menu and hotkey to manually toggle the compass. If the compass has been bothering you during conversations with NPCs, consider using this mod to remove it and experience a cleaner dialogue interface. In this segment, we'll introduce several visual enhancement mods. First up is Rally's Thrones. This mod upgrades the thrones found in towns like Riften, Falkreath, and Dawnstar to a higher quality. It comes in a replacer format without ESP supporting 2K and 4K textures. 
Next up is High Quality Ivy for Tree Stumps. This mod adds high quality ivy to tree stumps across Skyrim using the fantastic High Quality Ivy Mesh Replacer by F This World. It can be found on tree stumps throughout Skyrim, ensuring a consistent aesthetic. Compatible with Basic Object Swapper, it replaces the ivy on tree stumps with meshes and textures that don't affect performance, allowing players to experience high quality ivy without any drawbacks. Next up is Ark's Bear Trap Redux. This mod upgrades the bear trap textures to 2K or 4K resolution. It's ESP free and allows texture selection, enhancing the visual style and quality of the vanilla bear trap while retaining its iconic appearance. In this segment, we'll introduce several mods from the creator Mihail's Talkable Creatures series. First up is Falmer. This mod adds 14 new immersive dialogue lines and three types of clip signs to the snow elves known as Falmer, who lurk in the depths of Skyrim, making encounters with them more tense and thrilling. Next up is Talkative Spriggans, a mod that adds 13 new immersive dialogue lines to the enigmatic forest spirits. Flaws in nature found you guilty, and I will fulfill their mighty will. This makes battles with Spriggans more colorful, iconic, and distinctive. You desecrate the very earth bones you tread on, Morten. Next up is Talkative Flame Atronox, a mod that adds 12 new immersive dialogue lines to the Flame Atronox from the Daedric Realm of Infernace. This makes your battles with them feel even more passionate. Next up is Talkative Storm Atronox. This mod adds 11 new dialogue lines to the Storm Atronox from the realm of Levinus. Only agony awaits you at the end of this clash. These dialogue lines are triggered in the form of taunts during combat, enhancing the excitement of battles with Storm Atronox. There is no defense against Electrocution. Lastly, we have Carnarvon's Glasses Pack. This mod adds a total of 24 different types of glasses. It also supports versions compatible with ENB complex materials. From regular glasses to sunglasses, it offers a variety of styles. If you've always preferred glasses, this mod can certainly help you customize your character. Thank you for watching this week's must-have new Skyrim mods for the second week of April 2024. If you enjoyed the video and found some exciting mods to enhance your Skyrim experience, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Also, feel free to leave a comment sharing your thoughts on these mods, or suggesting any other mods you'd like to see featured in future videos. Until next time, Happy modding and may your adventures in Skyrim be ever more immersive and enjoyable. See you in the next one.